Why is Nicholas? That is your father's name, isn't it? Isn't it? Y yes, it is. And you're Carol. <laughs> and I'm Frank. I know. Hello, Frank. Where is Nicholas? Nicholas! Where did he go, kids? We'll walk you over to Frank's house and then off to the immigration office. How do I look? Very Nancy Reagan. <laughs> Thank you. My mom came here green card. You don't look Spanish. <laughs> No, Frank, we're British. Hi. Hi. Uh, Shelly's coming over. Tony called and he wants us all to look after her. I know, he called me too. Six times. He's very nervous. I hadn't noticed. Well, I'm very nervous too. What happens if the immigration people think our marriage is a green card scam? Come on, what are they going to do, cane you? <laughs> Nick, they could throw me out of the country. Oh, by the way, they called. What? Relax. What? <laughs> Someone from the immigration office. I think he was just confirming your appointment. I could hardly understand him. He could barely speak English. Oh, my God. Don't you get it? They called to see if I was here, if I really live here. That does it. We're sunk. Carol, this is America. Give us your poor, huddled masses. Come on, kids. Kennedy, try to remember, whatever happens, your mother loved you. Don't know about the future, that's anybody's guess. Ain't no good reason for getting off your breath. Fire up your pad and pencil, I give you a piece of my mind. Slap on a smile Come out and walk in the sun for a while Don't mind the feeling You know you want to have a good time And in my opinion, nation The sun is going to surely shine Metropolitan. A Nash Metropolitan? Is it really that small or is it just far away? It's really that small. I guess when you go on a trip, it's either you or the luggage. Isn't it cute? He said he felt more comfortable in a car that he could lift. He rebuilt it from scratch, realigned the blocks, retimed the points, reprimed the body, reworked the carbs. Do you have any idea what that means? No. But I'm a good listener, and hey, got me the keys. I love having a car. That's not a car, it's a carette. And it's not yours, it's Boomer's. Why is he letting you use it anyway? Uh, Boomer doesn't believe in getting too attached to material possessions, so everything he has, he feels he has to spend time away from. I also have his toothbrush and his Chia Pet collection. His Chia Pet collection? Well, not all of them, just the marsupials. <laughs> I'm not into rough. No, here, here, let us give you a hand. What is all this stuff? It's just baby stuff. The baby has stuff already? The baby's not even born. He's got more stuff than me. Well, Tony wants us to be prepared. He's taken all his earthquake paranoia and put it all in one place. The epicenter's in my stomach. <laughs> What's in here? Emergency water, cellular phone, flares. Don't look at me. He's your brother. <laughs> Why don't you quit smoking? Why don't you quit beeping? <laughs> it was not me beeping, it was my beeper beeping. What? It's so popular it gets its own calls? <laughs> Shelly called. She calls every 15 minutes to let me know she's okay. Please, please, please stop smoking. It never seemed to bother you before. Yes, it did. 
And now that I'm about to become a father, it bothers me even more. What? Now there's a study on third-hand smoke? <laughs> well, if there is, I will rest assured that you'll ignore it. Have you seen any studies that show that biting your nails has some sort of health benefit? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I will quit biting my nails if you quit smoking cigarettes. You're on. You're gonna quit smoking just like that. That's right. I won't light another one unless you bite your nails. I don't know if I can do it. It's called self-control. <laughs> no, I mean just stand by calmly saying breathe and push while my wife is screaming in agony. Oh, that. <laughs> you do that all the time with strangers. Oh, that is different. With strangers, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> Tell me the truth. Do women really forget the pain? I haven't. And I was unconscious. <laughs> Roosevelt was in the White House. Teddy. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm kidding. After the first one, I spit him out like pumpkin seeds. <laughs> two weeks. The kid has got two weeks, and then he's got to get here. I can't stand it anymore. What do you think? He's coming by Amtrak? <laughs> when he gets here, he gets here. I mean, enough already. I just hope it doesn't take any longer than two weeks. Got a light? <laughs> you come here often? Nick. Want to make out? Not now. Okay. How about now? Nick, please. Some of my steersmen think we're just trying to make it look like we're in love to get a green card. So what? What do we care what people think? These aren't people, Nick. They're the government. <laughs> hey. Where's your sense of fun? Nick, I'm nervous. You're gonna be just fine. Thank you. I'm feeling better already. I'm feeling better myself. Did I ever tell you you're a great kisser? Yeah, last night. Was that you? <laughs> Perhaps this will refresh your memory. Yes, we are. But you're both American, no? Uh, no, no, no. She's British. Actually, it's one of those green card scams. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my, 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 my. Nick! He's not serious. Oh, come on. He won't tell. She's paying me big money for this big, big, big money. <laughs> You're a very lucky man, sir. <laughs> you have no idea. Big money and plenty of extras, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I fail to find the humor in this. <laughs> uh, she's just nervous, afraid Uncle Sam will find out about her and give her the old boot. That would truly be a bummer. <laughs> so, uh, what are you here for? Me? I work here. My next appointment is with Mr. and Mrs. Russo. <laughs> Hello. I would love 
to be there. I love it when babies are born. I remember when Peter rushed his ex-wife Bianca to the hospital, and they ran over that dare like who turned out to be the doctor who had gotten amnesia in Vietnam. Oh. <laughs> Hospital. Excuse me. Nature's calling and I can't put her on hold. I wonder if Charlie Chaplin walked like that because he was pregnant. Can you imagine in the old days? I mean, women would actually have their babies without doctors in an open field somewhere. Yeah, 60s sure were wild. Mm. You. What do you mean it's just me? I could have killed myself. What idiot left this bag sitting in the middle of the floor? Look, you mean that bag with your bat, your mitt, and all your stuff in it? <laughs> Never mind. <sighs> well, we thought Shelly was having her baby. Because I stubbed my toe? <laughs> That's really dumb. <laughs> oh, now what? That wasn't me. My water broke. Hey, 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 don't worry, we got plenty of water. <laughs> Shelly, what do we do? We'll call my doctor. Are you okay? Yes, definitely okay. I'm having a baby. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh. Relax. That's it. We're doing fine. It's no big deal. I've been shot before. Well, you're just lucky it's clear of the lung. You know, uh, my wife's gonna have a baby in a couple weeks. <laughs> but you're probably in a lot of pain yourself, so just sit back. It's a long way to the hospital. I'll take over now. You drive. 123, you there, Brousseau? I'm here. We're on our way to county. Gunshot wound. I'm on the phone with your sister, Blossom. Water broke. Baby. Doctor, the doctor said the hospital is... What? Repeat, repeat. Congratulations, Russo. Looks like you're about to be a father. <laughs> All right, tell Blossom I'll meet him at the hospital. I wouldn't count on that. Let's go to Phoenix. <laughs> Mrs. Russo, were you financially stable before you met Mr. Russo? Financially stable? The woman was married to a Scottish millionaire. I might point out that I did not accept alimony from my second husband. Your first husband, I'm your second. No, Graham was my second husband. Liam was my first husband. That's impossible. Oh, no, no, no. I beg to differ. I have it right here. <laughs> Liam? I never heard of him. I don't like to talk about it. He was Irish. <laughs> Sometimes these interviews can be very revealing. I was right out of boarding school. Liam? Our parents found out and had it annulled. Annulled? Oh, I guess that means it never even happened. Hey, people, people, please. No violence. Everybody, take a deep breath. Come on, one, two, three. So, Mrs. Russo, the source of your financial stability, if you please. I thought that we were just going to talk about toothbrushes and favorite songs and what he sleeps in and things like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Money is always much more interesting. Watch this. Both of you answered at the same time. If you had to be in charge of either sex or money in the marriage, which would you choose? Sex. Money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You see? I love this. Now, Mr. Russo, tell me about the time you were arrested by the Berkeley Police Department. You were arrested? Well, it was, it was a demonstration. It was in college. You were arrested? How do you know about that? Let me see. <laughs> No, 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 no. It is not permitted. 
But those are my records. But this is my computer. You lose. see a baby being born. Well, in retrospect, that's probably the last thing I want to see in Ashley. No, I better be going because this is your family and I really hate to butt in. And I, I probably spend too much time here as it is. Six, sit, sit, stay. Blossom, what do we keep the water? Never mind, Joey. The faucet. Where's Anthony? The dispatcher said he will meet us at the hospital. I swear I'm never gonna go out again unless I'm wearing a condom. <laughs> Shelly, how much time do you think we have? I don't know. I must have miscalculated. Oh, oh. I'm thinking not much. Okay. We will just calmly get your stuff and, and head to the hospital in the car that Dad took to the immigration office. Okay, please. Oh, God, that means we're gonna have to call a cab. Oh, God, that's going to take forever. Well, there's three cabs in LA, and they're all at the airport. How are we going to get to the airport? <laughs> We're going to have to take a bus. You don't be quiet. Six, you have a car. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You've got Boomer's car. Yes, I do. I've got Boomer's car. Come on, Mom. We're going to the hospital. Oh, yes. Wait a minute. Wait, we can't all fit in that little thing. Oh, we're going to have to make four trips. Oh. Maybe five. Would you play that little thing? Breathe in, two, three, four, and breathe out, two, three. Oh man, I'm getting dizzy. Me too. Would you two get a grip? Well, with what? I can't move my arms. Stop complaining. At the circuits, do you know how many clowns they could fit into a car like this? Now try again at the immigration office again. Boss, I told you I've called that place a million times and I keep getting that recording in Spanish. We'll try the dispatcher again and see if they can patch us through to Tony. All right, all right. <sighs> Fifteen. Fifteen what? Fifteen clowns, I just figured it out. <laughs> I've changed my mind. I don't want to see a baby being born. I'm still a baby myself. I'm never going to have children. I'm just going to fill my life with other things. Cats in the shopping network and porcelain figurines of cats I bought at the shopping network. <laughs> Thank you, I needed that. Six, what are you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing, Joe? I'm driving a pregnant woman to the hospital in a golf cart. <laughs> well, don't take the freeway. Don't take the freeway. It's the freeway. It's faster. <sighs> Mr. Russo, are you steadily employed as a magician? <laughs> musician. That's musician. Yes, I am. Your tax returns for last year show that you received unemployment payments. Ooh, I don't remember that coming up during our courtship. It's not like I failed to mention the fact that I've been married twice. Oh, I was young and I wanted to annoy my parents, so I married an Irish guy. You would have done the same thing. I doubt that. It might have been poor judgment, but it didn't get me arrested. Mr. and Mrs. Russo, I have rather interesting news for you. Your daughter and sons and friends of your daughter and sons want you to meet them at the hospital. It appears you're going to be grandparents. Oh, my oh God. My oh, God. God. Yes. 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 <laughs> oh, um, can we reschedule? I'm afraid we didn't make such a good impression. No, we're not usually prone to such disagreements, sir. <laughs> Please, don't worry. You fight like people who've been married for 25 years. Case is closed. Muzzle off. <laughs> Mm. Um, 
something and you hold that thing in. That's not the way it works, Joe. Oh, oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Oh, it's Tony's fault. Uh, I'll try getting through to him again, okay? I need to talk to my wife. Forget about it. Look, my wife is having our baby and she needs me. And maybe, maybe if you live long enough, one day you'll understand how important this is. Now, if you don't mind, I want to talk to my wife. Okay, go, go ahead. Hey, Teresa, put me through. Hello, yeah, can you put me through to Anthony? Mm -hmm. Sweetheart. I'm afraid I can't wait much longer. I'm scared, Tony. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna lose my lunch. Hold it right there. Get in the back seat. I threw you in a trunk, but there isn't one. You have a real mean streak. Shut up and get in the back. Come on, Shell. You take it easy. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath. Yeah. Hey, don't forget, you graduated at the top of our Lamaze class. That's only because you knew all the answers. I still do, hon. They put Blossom back on. And Shelly, I love you. Oh, I love you. Hi. Hi, it's me again. Blossom, when's the last time she screamed like that? About a minute ago. How far are you from the hospital? Driving from this traffic? About three weeks. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Come on, Blossom, I'm counting on you. You're doing fine. Oh, God, Boomer's gonna get me. There's only supposed to be four people in this car. Oh. Tony, Tony, something's coming out, and I don't know what it is. Oh, oh my God. Oh, it's a head. <laughs> Just tell her to push and keep pushing. It's had to be the single most incredible experience of my whole life. She was amazing. I couldn't have done it without you. And might I add, I delivered one of the most beautiful babies in the whole world. Thank you, Aunt Blossom. <laughs> we wish we could have been there. Oh, you should have seen it, Mr. Russo. It was truly a miracle. <laughs> Take it from six, medicine woman. <laughs> she passed out cold. <laughs> right after you did. <laughs> and this is all that matters now. You've got a healthy baby boy. What do you think he looks like? Are you kidding? He looks just like Grandpa. He's got his hair and his gums. And... <laughs> I know you would all love to hold him, but I just can't let him go. Oh, I felt the same way about Kennedy when she was born. I wanted to hold her forever and ever and never let her go. <laughs> oh, my God, I forgot about Kennedy. Where is she? I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. She's at Frank's. I called when we got here. Oh. How things go at immigration? Fine. fine. Interesting, but fine. <laughs> so I guess that makes you a Native American now, huh? <laughs> Joey. 
just because a person... Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Welcome to America. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you, sweetheart, for bringing my first grandson into the world. Did you guys decide on a name yet? Well, I had a hard time making up my mind, but after the experience in the car today, I've made up my mind. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may we present our new son, Nash Metropolitan Russo. <laughs> Honk for them, son. <laughs> Nash Metropolitan. Boomer's car. Whoa, my nephew the car. <laughs> I like it. Me too. Oh, he must be hungry. I've got to feed him. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I've seen him all I want to see for one day. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go get a car wash. Or two. We'll give you your price. See you later. I feel kind of funny leaving. I mean, we've been through so much together. You did great, boss. You're not only an aunt, you're also a godmother and an obstetrician. <laughs> That's one lucky kid you got there. I know. He came very close to being called Yellow Cab Russo. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, okay. We know you're hungry. Take it easy. Lunch on me. Actually, it's on your mother. If you're gonna hang out around babies, you're gonna have to give up smoking for good. Yeah. Smoking's not good for babies. And smoking's not good for anyone. These are our bullets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> On the other hand, you've seen one baby. You've seen them all. You got a light, Lefty? 